well we did it chat the good doctor eliminate the crown killer who's been murdering your enemies to make you look guilty find your own old ally anton sokolov last being seen carried towards Adermeyer, alexander hypatia who runs the place the Adermeyer Institute is my best chance of tracking down the crown killer. Alexandria Hypatia turned an old solarium into a center for medicinal knowledge that's famous throughout the Isles. She's an alchemist, brilliant and dedicated to helping the miners in Karnaka and their families. If anyone knows what happened to Sokolov and where this all leads, she will. Don't do it, friendship, buddy. Clockwork soldiers sold at auction. At an auction held by Kirin Jindosh, the grand inventor offered for sale <clears throat> two of his latest contraptions. Marvelous clockwork soldiers, the likes of which have never been seen. Mechanical wonders sold after fierce bidding for an astonishingly high price. Never before had this wealthy class been able to protect themselves and their holdings with such vigor and style. <laughs> Prior to the auctions, only the likes of Duke Luca Abel, and more recently our new Empress, could enjoy such protection. Having seen a demonstration arranged by the genius natural philosopher himself, I was, uh, I was witness to what his clockwork soldiers can do. Woe to any trespasser or villain who crosses their path. I dare say Kirin Jindosh has discovered a way to end crime altogether. Yeah. Okay, so this is a harder place to get to than I thought. Clearly we're not just dropping down there. jump to the water and climb out. In fact, there's some stuff over there we could investigate. If the water isn't instant death. But how do you get back up is the question. Attention! Faculty management at Adermeyer Institute kindly informs the public that our waiting list is so long that free of charge appointments within Hypatia must be booked two months in advance. Emergency cases, mining accidents, blood flow infection will be granted. Uh, we need to find a way down, chat. Might be it right here. I'm guessing this is the only way down. Do it. Video game? Not what I said to do, video game.
New bow and charm. Agile recovery. Recover from falls slightly faster. I'll take it. So there is a way back up. There's a whole bunch of water. It looks as though the end of the zone is at these light uh, lights. I don't like the bitey fish though. But I think I can make it. I'll need new boots after this. gun, money, <laughs> oh friendship money, I have to get a super deep teeth cleaning, but Cardboard Ninja doesn't believe in that, not that I don't believe in super deep, super deep cleaning friendship money. He said, I believe you put too much stock on the super deep teeth cleaning over standard dental care. Would that you simply take care of your teeth, you would not require super deep, super deep teeth cleaning. Moreover, I don't believe that super deep teeth cleaning are the solution to any of your dental woes. Let's rock chat. I think there's something over there. Hmm, so the only way to turn this off is magic. I know that originally, you see that ladder right there? You would teleport up there. I mean, unless I got up there and jumped down the other way, which might be possible. 
Jesus. Come on, Corvo. Corvo! Could be difficult. That's the watchtower. I could shut that watchtower down. I need Dr. Hypatia's key. Son of a bitch. We're gonna be making this jump across because I'm pretty sure I can shut this super mechanical ultra death structure down. Wire tool, tool available. Oh, that was actually a thing I needed to do. Oh, neat. Hey, look, there she is. Look at her go. Alright, now how the hell do I get down from here? Do I have to jump to the chain? Ow. Are we on the third level? Yes, maybe. We're looking for Dr. Alexandria Hypatia. I think I need to actually press the button to catch on to it. Oh, I did. If I had left that guard available, I could have knocked him out on my way down. You disabled the watchtower, but the mission's not done. Bitch, get us out of here. How dare you tell me when the mission's over. Though she is probably right. Also, I could have slashed through this. Nope, I could not have. I'm an idiot. That's a lot of runes, chat. We're 34 meters away, 29 meters. Fudge. That's not exactly fair, is it? There's like nowhere to hide. Yeah, you. You gotta be effing kidding me. I pressed C to go back into stealth and he went power sliding forward. Uh. 
I know professional cleaning where hardened and soft plaque are removed with an instrument, but deep cleaning isn't something practice. But yes, is it true that the enamel is a case inside of your teeth, just a compacted powdery substance? Once there's a hole in the enamel, the powder, powder will leak out. What a dream I had! <laughs> what a dream you had. I can layer by layer enamel the hardest substance in the human body. 90% of it consists of minerals, as dentine, still quite hard substance, like 50% of it consisting of tubules with bony tissue in between. In the center of the teeth is the dental pulp. Think of it as a pile of nerve tissue, blood capillaries, lymph vessels, and stuff like that. It's the part that hurts real bad when stuff goes wrong. Come on, dude, I know you're up there. Hmm, not exceptionally fair. That was close. That moon is really bright. That or that's the sun. Good morning, Lux does. How's it going? Download the game Darkest Dungeon. I really liked it. That game has not been so addictive. Oh yeah, is it the original Darkest Dungeon or Darkest Dungeon 2 that you downloaded? Both are great. I actually preferred the first to the second, but they're both really good. I appreciate that I can do a keyhole peek here, even though there is absolutely no keyhole to peek into. Okay, that light's not being put out. <clears throat> Yeah, that one. Teeth need blood vessels to supply the enamel with minerals to keep it hard, but man, having nerve being inside teeth is not so fun.
So chat, do we want to take this via the front? Means I go back in the water and dive out here, or do I? You know what? We're already here. We're just gonna go in through the door that we have available. F this voice. We only really have the one entrance because we don't have what's her name's key. We have the Edermeyer map, which could be helpful. We've got some men over there. We've got walls of light. Hypatia's office is off limits to you. I'm begging you. It would only take a few hours for Dr. Hypatia to see them. My seven-year-old broke her leg carrying water down to the miners. I and my three-year-old has been coughing dust for weeks. His skin is so pale. He's gray. I could bring them here. I am very sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Dr. Hypatia doesn't accept patients anymore, and the Institute is under the Grand Guard Authority. Apparently, you can't be trusted to do your job without creating problems. Please, I can't lose another child. Where is Dr. Hypatia? Lock her up until further notice. What? No! My children need me! Let me go! Is there one night in the boarding house? One night? Hmm. Well, he's only gonna lock her up, but something tells me this is another one of those things where I think I have to intervene and like snipe everyone with sleep darts. <laughs> Everybody does have an orange cat. Friendship Bunny, are you starting drama with so many kittens? So Lux does. Dishonored is a very, very very interesting game. Um, you know that because I said that just now with my mouth. The end. No, I'm joking. Um, the best way to explain this is as follows. Dishonored takes place in an obviously its own cyberpunk, not cyberpunk, but uh, it's not really steampunk. Yeah, it's steampunk. It's, its own steampunk world. In this world of Dishonored, the original, hold on one second, So in the very original Dishonored, you play as a gentleman by the name of Corvo Atano. Corvo Atano is the Empress's guard. Basically, you've got a guard, you got the Empress, the best. She's like, I'm the best around, no one's ever going to get me down. And she gets got. <laughs> Let's just say someone gets her down. Uh, in the intro, Corvo is tasked with preventing her assassination, which he spectacularly fails at. An assassin named Dowd shows up and bodies Corvo, as well as Bado bodies her. Kills her. It's over. GG. Uh, however, unfortunately, Corvo is blamed for the murder of the Impress. And this is because an assassin did it, and he's the only one left alive. And they're like, this is the bad guy. Kill him. Uh, throughout the events of Dishonored 1... Oh, by the way, and they kidnapped the princess. The Impress's daughter, the princess, whatever. It is heavily implied throughout Dishonored 1 that Princess Emily is Corvo's daughter. It is implied, but never outright stated. Um, and this is because of the fact that he would have had to have had an affair with the Empress and all this other crazy shit like that. So, through, and this is for you Lex does, through trial, tribulation, fighting, and a whole bunch of BS, Corvo manages to defeat everyone and re rescue the em uh, rescue Emily. Depending on how you do it, depends on the ending you get. If you are hyper-violent and you kill a whole bunch of men, uh, things are very bad. And also, even if you win, 
Princess Emily it becomes a little bitch. Like, a super bitch. She's like, you know what? Can't wait to be Empress because I'm going to order the deaths of everyone. Get dicked. It's crazy. If you go through and you s d kill no one and get to the end, she's a little princess angel. Effectively. Uh, and that's the events of Dishonored 1. Uh, Dishonored 2 picks up somewhere in the neighborhood of two decades uh, after Dishonored 1. And the... Uh, Princess Emily is now Empress Emily, and she's now the Empress of the um, of Dunwall. Well, lo and behold, a foreign visitor shows up. This foreign visitor comes a waltzing on into the courtroom, and that visitor be like, "Hi, I'm also a strong female character." That's right, it's 2020 still, and so 2022 plus. And so the strong female character shows up, and she says to the first strong female character, "No, I am the strongest female character." I'm also, I'm actually the true Empress, the sister of your, uh, sister of your mother. By the way, this reeks of a retcon, only because of the fact that she was never mentioned before now. So retcon woman shows up and immediately starts throwing her dick around. Puts her dick out and starts slapping fools in the face with it. Just slap, 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 slap. And it so turns out that she's super mega powerful and she's a wizard, Harry. Or a sorceress, or some bullshit. It doesn't really matter. And this is the mechanic through which the main character, regardless of whether or not you choose to be Corvo, or whether or not you choose to be Emily, is stripped of their powers. Because they must be stripped of their powers uh, because of the fact that if they aren't, then you would have to, the people would ask the question, wait a minute, at the end of Dishonored, wasn't Corvo effectively God? Didn't he have a billion abilities to alter shit, like space and time? Couldn't he do all this crazy shit? And the answer is yes, right? Corvo and his daughter both have, were visited by spirits known as the Outsider and have magic powers, so they should easily be able to super mega body the shit out of people. So, because of the fact that if you do, uh, um, <clears throat> because of the fact that they can't let you have your powers, otherwise there'd be no progression throughout the game, you're obviously reset to square one. And which is to say your powers are removed and it's just you versus them. Emily, or Cor Corvo, depending on who it is you do not play, is turned to stone by uh, the super bitch. And super bitch shows up, turns that bitch to stone, is like, gotcha, that person's stone, and now I'm taking over Dunwall. And so, you are once again tasked with going through the motions of attempting to rescue your daughter. And that is to defeat the sister who was retconned into existence in Dishonored 2 of Jezamine. Jezamine is the name of Hit Corvo's lover slash the former Empress. All right. Hopefully I've explained that appropriately. That is this game. Oh, I remember what I was doing now. I was hitting F9. The reason why I'm loading is because I believe this is another situation where I have to intervene, but I don't think I can. Um, because I don't think my weapons will go through the wall. I can try, but I don't think it's going to work. I'm pretty sure the wall of light will stop it. Yep. So... Basically, anyone who's familiar with um, the Brotherhood of Nod, <laughs> you'd be well aware that the um, Obelisk of Light stops basically anything from coming through. That's the situation that's going on there. There's an Obelisk of Light up right there. Uh, the wires go where? Right there. I could technically turn it off. You know Dr. Hypatia's office is off limits to you. Nope, I don't have a rewire tool. It would only take a few hours for Dr. Hypatia to see them. My seven-year-old... So, how would I turn this off? Looks like it's upstairs. So, in order to save this woman... <clears throat> in Crossout, Corvo is never nerfed. Glad to know that Dishonored 2 Corvo is stuck with a nerf hammer. Oh, hilarious. 
That is actually funny. There is a weapon in uh, Crossout named Cor the Corvo. If I can jump up far enough away, I might be able to skip that activating. God damn it. You won't get away. All right, so it looks as though this could be much more difficult than I thought. I don't know if I can save that woman from this angle. If I come from a different angle, maybe. Maybe I might be able to save that woman. But for right now, it would appear that this is a problem. I can make it to the second story. There's men on the third floor. Like, this is ridiculous. This guy's gonna turn around before I get to him, I just know it. stuff. Great, great, great. More Adermeyer solution, which is mana. kidding me this place is filled with guards so I cannot choke this man out even though I should be able to No. Just cannot choke them out. For some reason, even though they're not within line of sight, they're on a different floor, they're able to know when their friend is being silently uh, taken down. This is tough. If I stay far enough away, I think I prevent the start of that event, which is what I want to prevent. So if I can't choke these guys out, Corvo cannot jump high enough. We're gonna go directly to Hypatia's office. You make sure she stays with you. never leaves Adermeyer. Remember that. Sir, it's just that the other night she went missing, and I still don't see how she got out. Maybe we're not clear on this, Corporal. In case anyone asks, the good doctor never leaves the grounds unless it's on official business for the Duke. Got it? I think I understand, sir. Okay, so it looks as though I can get up to Hypatia's office. Prey looks really cool. Is it that the uh, new uh, show that's gonna have uh, the women take on the Predator? Uh, 
We're gonna immediately go to Hypatia's office. We're gonna let those guys chit chat. Let me have it. You make sure she stays with you. Hypatia never leaves that or mine. Remember that. Sir, it's just that the other night she went missing, and I still don't see how she got out. Maybe we're not clear on this, Corporal. In case anyone asks, the good doctor never leaves the grounds unless it's on official business for the Duke. Got it? I think I understand, sir. So we're gonna wait for this guy to actually fully leave, and his friend will then seem to fully leave. Yeah, they're Native Americans fighting the Predator. Like, there should be no... There should not be a fight between Native Americans and the Predator, by the way. Following the shadows, it looks like this guy's standing up. They can rot in the void for all I care. I've got enough to worry about without the. <laughs> Grapes. Orders from Captain Ramirez. Dr. Alexander Hypatio won't be working in her office today. She'll be in Recuperation Auditorium instead, which is locked. She's not to be disturbed. If anything urgent comes up, I'll leave Dr. Hypatio's key in her office. Another thing, the janitor Hamilton is to remain in deceased treatment until I interrogate him and decide on his fate. We've got him locked up in a little plant conservatory there. No one's allowed to speak to him or enter that room. Captain Ramirez. So we're going to have to get Hypatio's key. Is there chloroform here? That'd be neat. The blackouts are worse, and my dreams have taken a turn towards the disturbing. Even rest eludes me. Duke Bell seemed overprotective at first, but increasingly, I'm a prisoner in my own lab. The soldiers stationed here leave me alone, but even then I feel like I'm being watched. What really saddens me is the loss of my work. I've always thrived on my connection to the people who need me the most. The workers and their families. Each time I hear there's been an outbreak of some fever or some new condition among the miners, me that I am not with them, working to ease their suffering. Mm -hmm. Shocking no one. Alexander Hypatia is a Mary Sue-ass character who is purely good and has no altruistic, or sorry, no ulterior motives. My marvelous Alexander Hypatia, or do I do the closest call you Alex? How valuable you are to me. The Seracanos. What would we do without one of our most prominent natural philosophers? It keeps me awake at night, worrying for your safety. What if some incurable wretch should attack you? Or what if exposure to one of those hideous maladies you come across proves fatal to you? Where would we be then? Who would we turn to? So you see, this is why I've arranged for the Grand Guard to keep an eye on your offices at Adermeyer. For now, indulge me. As your Duke, I recognize your value, and I'm committed to keeping you safe most warmly. Luca Abel, Duke of Circanos. The Grand Medal of Merit is awarded to Eminence to, blah, 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 to Hypatia for her <clears throat> sustained and ingenious contribution to the field of natural philosophy. Alexandria Hypatia. There's a bone chart or room room nearby. Letter from a journalist, Chief Alchemist Alexander Hypatia. I am writing because I am not permitted to visit you in person thanks to one of the Duke's new decrees which will now fall in the city as frequently as drops of rain, but I will get to the matter at hand. What is the progress of your research on the latest strain of blood fly fever? Is there any hope for an improved version of Adamire's solution? I'm talking of a remedy that could cure the fever instead of just delaying the symptoms. Have any of your experience proved effective? If so, when will something be available to the community? As you must know, available stocks of elixirs are dwindling, and people often to uh, have to turn to the black market to buy potions at a shocking price. 
What is your reaction to the situation? Eagerly reading response. Rin Mancini at the Karnaka Gazette. Now we have the, uh, Dr. Hypatia's key. I have an option. I can immediately go straight back down the way I came. You wanted your hair to look like this girl's hair? Okay. Oh, snap. Gold ingot. Dr. Hypatia's getting paid, chat. It always pays to read a book. Agent bottles. Here's to be science. Ooh, a room. Grand Guard personnel. Anyone caught taking medicinal supplies? Get out of here. That hurt. <laughs> That was a mistake, chat. That hurt. I think there's grapes or something around here. <laughs> Pretty sure. Oh. What the fuck was that shit? Hamilton's key needed. God damn it. Why would Hamilton trap the stairs like a dick? Ah. There's a lot of runes nearby. Get high, chat. I so enjoy watching history warp as words pass from the lips of one to the ears of another. Imperfectly formed, half understood, poorly remembered. In the years to come, the story of the crown killer will be twisted and bent, hammered like soft metal. By some accounts, a monster that had to be put down. By others, a victim of treachery. Preserved, because in the end, you found another way. But you'll always remember the truth, won't you? Your truth, at least. That's right, chat. I'm gonna remember my truth. at every painting in the last one, too. So I know there's a man up here somewhere. Oh, 
that's cool. Aww. Orangey Bunny has two cats, chat. One's named Orange Cat, the other one's named Black Cat. One is orange, the other one is black, they are both cats. Because they're cats, if they're cuddling, it means they're hungry. Feed orange cat and black cat. Hmm. Aaron, you shouldn't do that. Did I just stab this man in the throat, but is he alive? I'll take it. Believe it or not, I don't think either of these spy glasses point towards the sun. And therefore no, but I can use my own zoom. So with any luck, that lady who's being knocked unconscious in the foyer is still safe. Can I make this jump? Easily, without any problems, of course. Corporal, please just walk in. Thank you. thought that I had figured something out super special. I hadn't. <clears throat> Though, I mean, you can summon the thing apparently to the top, which is good.
Ninja Bunny, why are you very bored? gonna drop down. So now that we're above them, <clears throat> take weight. I hear that's a good workout. Hilarious. Well played. Interesting. So this is meant for you to be able to jump down, down over there without getting in these guys' way. that never asked questions it is odd sir there aren't even any patients here anymore the men don't understand what's so important about dr ipatia what should i say mission failed we'll get him next time someone mentions it just tell them that the duke will have us flayed alive if anything happens to her that's clear enough Hypatia to see them. My seven-year-old broke her leg carrying water down to the miners. I and my three-year-old has been coughing dust for weeks. His skin is so pale. He's gray. I could bring them here. I am very sorry. But there's nothing I can do. Dr. Hypatia doesn't accept patients in medicine, and the Institute is under the Grand Guard Authority. Apparently, you can be trusted to do your job without creating problems. I can't lose another oh, child. This Where is the is lady who needs help. Lock her up until oh. What? What? Guards! Someone! Are you hiding? Help me! Someone! Anyone! Help! Hey! Hmm. I don't know if that saved her life or not. Kills one, god damn it. Someone must have ended up falling into that uh, electrical uh, wire. It's gonna be tough. Yep. This is the problem with non-lethal takedowns, chat. As non-lethally as you take them down,
There he is. So we're gonna choke out this guy. We're gonna quickly search for. Uh, nothing. Anybody? Don't maybe search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Oh, neat. I, who that was. I pulled aggro. And those guys are now dicking off and leaving her alone. That actually worked. By sprinting, chat. The power of sprinting. So now I have three men just running around trying to get to me. That'll do. No one's dead, right? to be in Dr. Hypatia's office. <clears throat> yeah, I know that. But why would it tell me to come here? You don't want calluses on your dainty hands. Does this uh, game have a setting of options where takedowns can be lethal? Yeah. All I have to do is use a, my sword. I'm actively not lethally killing people. I'm just injuring them horribly. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know there's another way in. It's like over there. I remember this now. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> That's one. That's two. There are three men coming for me, chat. Two blues and a red. Come on! I don't have time for Pretty games. Sure. Are you serious? Damn! <laughs> Be like Batman. Don't kill people. Just maim and scar them for life. That's the idea. They kind of have me on a out on a limb here. I could try this freakout potion. I've never used it before. So far, so good. I don't know what happened to his friends. That's okay by me.
Where are my incendiary bolts at? I think they're one. We're gonna use these in a second. Friendship Bunny used to think you were asexual. Then what happened, Friendship Bunny? What's going on here? Two hundred gold for that rune. This is the problem with those bolts. They give you orphan rum. form bottles. Here we go, chat. This is what I'm talking about. Solarium schedule. Luminotherapy appointments for the morning of second day, month of timber, 1849, approved by Dr. Vasco. Miss Anita Cardona, two hours. Mr. Robert Garcia, five hours. Serve Mr. Garcia some valerian tea. To ease his cough every hour. Please schedule a session for him this afternoon as well. Uh, Mr. Emilio Malernio, uh, two hours. And Miss Lucia Pas Pastor, half an hour. The patient is pregnant and in very weak condition. Be sure not to exceed the prescribed time. Apply some leash solution before and after the session two hours. Grand guard personnel. Anyone caught taking medicinal supplies will be written up and fined. Rat, what are you doing here? Good rats, you're from the last game. Oh snap, there's like all, this is the Cosby Gas Palooza chat. How much chloroform is in here? All of that is chloroform chat. We have literally have enough chloroform here to beat the rest of the map. Do you remember what happens to chloroform chat? It instantly KOs fools. Oh my god, so much chloroform. Mmm, so much chloroform. So the plan, now, with a bajillion chloroform bottles, crap uh, a bajillion minus one chloroform bottles is to use these chloroform bottles to defeat our enemies I'd ask why they have so many chloroform bottles, but this place is the Cosby Institute, so...
Are there bugs in there? There are, but not enough. Oh, yes, sir. <coughs> on the ground. Is this a reagent bottle? Unsent letter from patient. 17th day, month of seeds, 1846. Mother, I knew you were looking forward to joining me at Adermeyer, but the place is br a brutal disappointment. The advertisements you were keeping seem uh, to be from years ago. It's no longer the beautiful, luxurious place described in those leaflets. Uh, apparently, the current director, Dr. Al Ag Alexandria Hypatia, decided to turn Adermeyer into a hospital of sorts for the underclass. I don't even have my own room. I'm told the old VIP suites are impractical, so I sleep next to some gray-faced fellow who coughs his lungs out all night, and they refuse to give me access to the more tanning boxes. Now they're only used to treat minors with vitamin deficiencies, developed apparently not after, I'm sorry, developed apparently after not seeing daylights for months. Can you imagine one of us being treated like this? I'll have to stay until my next decent ship departs for Crystal, assuming I don't catch something disgusting by then. Your son, Gertrude. Gertrude sounds like an absolute chat of a lad. Now, I know I left one bottle of kill those effing things on the ground. Chloroform. I'm gonna, oh man, I don't even think there's this many men on the left on the map. You stop tricking me. There it is. New bow and charm. Let's see what we got. Exploding bottles, that's good. Your crossbows, eh. Slide speed, eh. Enemy is sometimes that's useless. Blast resistant. You take less damage from explosions. Sure, why not? Agent bottle, agent bottle. Got him. season the meat first or was it the beans if you're asking questions about making um, what I think you're thinking I hear something moving so I need chloroform stat uh, so friendship bunny if you're asking about what I think you're thinking the answer is you season the meat Oh. It's Dr. Alexandria Hypatia. That was not what I expected. I expected to poo gas someone, chat. God damn it. Got my Cosby gas again, chat. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see what the heart has to say about what a good, altruistic, super perfect person she is. Ready? Lieutenant Mikos, report to the duty officer as soon as you finish your current patrol. No splatter cake. I have plenty of. Uh, there's chloroform right there. If I if I'm right. Why is she not allowed to live 
when Judith's voice begins to play on the audio app, a chill comes on her. Dust District Lung Eye, got it. Excellent. We've tapped her for all of her info. Alright, so we could just walk on down there. We've learned everything we need to know. She is a perfect Mary Sue-ass character. He only wishes to do good and more good and more good. I would have sworn there was a boat down there. New bone charm. This time it's corrupt. Let's see what it does. Splintering bolts. Your bolts inflict more damage, but bolts always break on impact. So, you can't retrieve your bolts, but they do more damage. This is actually not a bad one. So, for example, I already have one that says that they do slightly more damage. Um, nice. Take that, everyone else who's trying to watch this game. Um, I'm thinking... I don't really need Blast Resistant, though I did mess up that one time. I don't really need Whirlwind, and I don't really require Agile Recovery. They're all kind of... Oh, I could just equip it. Never mind. We're going to take Splintering Bolts. I know what you're thinking. Why would I do that? Well, the specialized bolts lose their abilities once they inject the person with the poison, and I don't really use anything else. So that changes nothing for me. You did well finding Anton Sokolov, my friend. The old man is with Kieran Jindas, who is prying him apart, digging out all his secrets, adding Sokolov's knowledge to his own. Who knows what wonders of natural philosophy Jindosh will reveal in future days. But it's time for you 
needed to come out once again. Time to play. We have need for your special talents. The good doctors do for a trip to Dunwall because Ichabob Oil is next on the list. Make haste and make this one messy. Give the newspaper something to write about and give the people of the Empire fodder for their nightmares. Don't do it, Friendship Bunny. Do not do that. If you're looking for pepper, add pepper. You are, you, you have a bad case of a Caucasian mouth. <laughs> Ground Killer Rampage continues wherever there are opponents of Impress Emily Colvin, so follow, the, so follow the ghastly deeds of the Crown Killer, first victims of Citizens of Karnaka, most notably Corey Brockburn, one of the earliest to oh, so openly criticize the young Caldwin. Just a month after the passage of her uh, Sharecropper Rights Act, Brockburn urged Parliament in Bristol to hold a vote of no confidence. He never ceased to scrutinize the decrees from Dunwall Tower, attacking each with the same ferocity. After Brockwin's terrible death, Brockburn's terrible death, several more fell in Karnaka. Always old foes of the Caldwin family, including Janice Tynes, the former editor of Car the Karnaka Gazette, a week after her scathing editorial calling uh, called Emily an impress in name only. Tynes was found dead in her office, missing several limbs that were never recovered. Then, the murders spread to other parts of the Empire. Dozens have now been taken. The latest being Ichabod Boyle, a respected businessman from Dunwall who founded the Anti-Rationing Club to protest recent Imperial decrees on the distribution of whale oil. America. Why, hello there. Sokolov's abduction. Dear friend, the dock captain just sent word that he spotted Sokolov. He knows his habits. So it says Sokolov buys whale blood off boats by the gallon to make pigments, apparently. See, you seem to share some interest with the old genius, so why don't you go and invite him over like we said? The sooner the better. He's probably staying in a boat in the bay. I trust you'll be able to follow his scent. Keep him safe from Adermeyer. Don't hurt him, or he will be useless to our plans. If you're hungry, though, the dock captain has served his purpose, and his second in command recently did me a favor. Luca. So we just came from here. This is the station we used to get here. We didn't go to the Jindosh mansion. No, we were here. This is where we were. I'm sorry, this is Adermeyer Station, and this is the Adermeyer Institute where we are currently. What the hell is this? We ran around in here. We didn't go to the event station. Chamber pot, outstanding. I like how that they even went to the trouble of saying this is a graduated cylinder. Hmm. Take that. Hey, Luke. Yeah. Reagent bottle, wash bottle, volumetric bottle. Graduated cylinder, more mana for spells I don't have. Rats. Here because this is our medical facility. Okay. Oh, Vasco. Who the fuck is Vasco? What's wrong with you, <laughs> Doctor Hypatia? Did this? She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. What? I'm not a scientist. The safe code is one, two, one. Uh-oh. 
Now I'm glad I didn't go to talk to her. Soldiers before. Hmm. Well then. That's unfortunate. It looks as though she's crazy as F. I should have that's why Splatter Cake wanted to know if I took the what's it called with me. Oh you So if I went down there, she would have been just like crazy? Let's find out. Let's see what would happen. Patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov? Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away to see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh, yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just... I used to do such good work, and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. We don't get visitors very often. Only one recently. Oh. Uh, that Sokolov would admire these. wrong but I I can't put my finger on it she did well finding him she would say about friend. this the old man is with Kieran Jindosh who is prying him apart digging out all his secrets I can so hear her whispering from down in the well But it's time for you to come out once again. Time to play. We have need Not gonna lie, chat. I got it wrong. So much blood. I had no idea that what's her name was the guy. I thought it was a separate bitch. In fact, not a separate bitch. Same bitch. Give the newspaper something to write about and give the people of the empire. Why are you so damn timid? A hey, sleep dart. That could be useful. Now, could I just knock her out with sleep gas? Osby gas? We're just gonna go grab some of that sleepy night night juice. Grab some of that night night juice. Be back. 
Okay, we're gonna bring a chloroform bottle. Now, what happens if I instead give her the poo gas right now? Like, if I knock her out right now, maybe I can save that guy's life, right? Breath blood fly maggots worming around underneath. Let's find out. Huh. She appears to be wildly immune to being knocked unconscious. Wow! Maggots worming around underneath. We're gonna need more ether, chat. <laughs> We're gonna need more poo gas. <laughs> this is why they gave you so much. You're gonna need a little bit more. So here's my plan. I'm going to hit her two times with poo gas and hide. See what happens. Who knows? I didn't read chat. Could have talked to her only. She, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I get it. I spoke to her. I spoke to her. Don't worry. Oh, that did not work? That did not work? Holy crap! What? What? <laughs> Get down, bitch! I've faced soldiers before. At least they usually don't shit themselves. Get down, bitch! Get fucking down! I will knock you out! Ow! Stay down! <laughs> Here, have a stun mine. Your ridiculous morality. Holy crap. I punched her in the face more than I've punched any man in this entire game. I literally did a DDT from the second story like six times on her ass. She did not give any shits. That is phenomenal. She's like the strongest character ever. Holy shit, did you guys see that? I literally jumped down from there like three times. Just bam, bam, bam. I shot her with every sleep dart I had. Nothing. <laughs> you have some pretty decent... I hit her with so much power. <laughs> like, I expected her to go down multiple times. Like, did anyone expect her to, like... I expected her to maybe, because she's like a boss, not go down on the first, you know, punch to the face. But like the sixth punch to the face in, I made the assumption she'd go down. By the way, just so we're clear, that's her on two bottles of ether. Remember, I hit her with freaking the poo gas. I hit her with the Cosby gas. And I hit her with the Cosby dart. I hit her with the freaking jab. I hit her with the this. And I also hit her with the stun mine. Like, she didn't give a shit. She doesn't go down. She's got to be eliminated, which means that I got to go talk to this guy. Oh my god. We are in a hell of a way. So the idea is this. I understand what's going on. In order to defeat her, which is fucking damn near impossible, I need to go get out of here, sneak past her, get to the cure, right? Everyone knows the weak points of the shins. Get to the cure, formulate a cure, come back and hit her with that cure. Because hitting her with my fists, nothing. 
She's too strong, too female. Like, she's just like the apex strong female. No wonder she could kill all those people as the crown killer. Think about that for a minute. These Nobody stood a chance. I'm Corvo Atano. I jumped from the second story like nine times. I hit her with enough tranquilizers to take out two elephants tied together. Nothing. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, no, I don't. I think the code is different, but I'm going to do the plan that I had originally intended. So the plan that I had originally, because I didn't know I was going to catch, I was going to run into her. I thought I was still looking for her. I just happened to run into her. So plan number one, we're going to gas the motherfucking shit out of everyone. Everyone's going down. Once we've finished gassing everyone, then we're going to deal with her. <clears throat> the weather forecast promises us a nice amount of sunlight tomorrow, so we encourage you to bring the patients who don't have an up, uh, don't have appointment for the luminotherapy session out on the terrace. Use wheelchairs if needed. We only have so many Moar tanning boxes, and considering how expensive they are, we won't be getting any more, getting more anytime soon. Nor will the broken ones be repaired. Sorry, so let's have our patients enjoy some real sunlight. Holy shit. Not gonna lie. Hold on. I'm gonna say this right now. I've already mentioned this earlier that I said this game was better than I thought it would be. Yada, yada, yada. This game continues to be better. It continues to be better than I thought it would be. I genuinely did not expect her to be the crown killer. I didn't. I expected the crown killer to be another strong female. I had no idea that this strong female was the strong female that we were after. That's, that's, that's a good twist. I don't care who you are. That was a gr that was a good twist. There's nobody in this part of the hospital. I think the hardest part is getting out of there unseen. No, 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 no. There are other people. It's about a lot of cake. I know that because they walked away from me and I didn't catch them on the way out. So I will be chloroforming the mfing s out of the remainder of the people. The last entry in the Matron's Diary. I've been dismissed. That's how they put it. Like I just brought the tea and I could take my leave. And me, the fool, thinking I'm getting an afternoon off for a change, I guess, uh, I says, Grand, I'll see you early in the morning. Oh, my face turned to shade of crimson when they said I was to never return. Never, no explanation. I'm not even allowed to see the good doctor. I must have done something awful to deserve, to deserve such ill treatment. But what? I didn't know. Didn't I always support Hypatia? Didn't I do all she asked? I was her other set of hands, her own words. I've been trying to recall what I could have done that was so wrong. I did leave that vial of medicine on the counter and it got spoiled, but that was over a month ago and Hypatia didn't seem the least upset by it. Now I think she must have been ever so disappointed in me, but perhaps was too sweet to say anything about it to my face. All that work left to do, I'm too distraught to write anything more. And that's one coin for my troubles. game is great like I'm not I cannot believe I did not see that coming we want out of vagina hats and superior strength what I think you mean our Ooh. got the map we are presently I don't know new mission clue According to the floor plan, her offices are on the fourth floor. Yeah, I know. I've been there. Let's finish searching out here. Oh, there's a man. Oh, there's three men. Oh. Oh, yes. Wow. Go 
Go back to looking outside, buddy. You ain't see shit. Damn it. Stop! I can't believe I didn't get all three. I can't believe I didn't hit all three. That was like the perfect throw. Wait, what? What? How did he die? What? I mean, it doesn't count against my stats, but I don't want this guy to just be dead. I'm not sure how he died. And there we have it. Someone asked me earlier to look at the sun via the spyglass. How did you die? I don't understand. I just... Did he slip down the stairs? Like, he must have fallen and then, like, rolled down the stairs and in doing so, that killed him. Look, he's got blood all around him. Natural causes. Those natural causes being gravity. <laughs> Here. Eh. Fixed. Okay, there. No one he saw anything. I don't get it. Cryo Cree, good dance party. I didn't kill that man. I hit him with the poo gas. Non lethal poo gas. Blood of the Bell House, Chapter 4 introdu Introduction. With the sword and she swept. Nope, saw this one before. Don't need the Bastillon figs. I can't believe I knocked this guy out and threw him unconscious so close to those other guards. Looks like this is a way that goes somewhere. Got it. Now, I could stay up here. But I'm motherfucking Batman. I am the knight. All right, so we're back at the front. Why does this seem like a steeper jump than it should be? I kind of don't want to have to go back in through the front. I probably shouldn't have jump punched that man, but it was the right thing to do. Ooh, a coin. Fish better not attack me, I swear to God. What would the crank wheel do? It raises the water. Oh, I get it. So I could mind control a fish and swim through with a fish. Neat. 
Unfortunately, without magic, I cannot mind control and fish swim through. No one knows what's happened. Could be anything. I just gotta watch my own back. There's just a man here. Don't do that, friendship bunny. Nobody wants your punishment, Jello. silver spike which is basically them talking about getting a COVID-19 vaccine why am I not using magic because this is a magic free playthrough open to the public, I was proud of working here. Cooking for the sick. Discussing recipes with Dr. Hypatia. Now I feel useless. I know. But as bad as things have gotten, it'd all be worse without a job. This guy's right. Did you hear what that guy said, Chet? As bad as things have gotten, things would be worse without a job. That is correct. That man understands life. This guy gets it. You need a job to make that money. Yes, I just took his money. Shut up. I missed the time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. Whatever you need, I can't help you. Why should I trust someone who hides their face? Well, how need help going on? God damn it. That lady's mad because I took her money. Why should I trust someone who hides their face? Oh god, I'm running around. Some wages for a bottle of whiskey. Maybe try my luck at dice. I don't feel safe. <laughs> what is wrong with this city? Yeah, man, what's wrong with the city? I don't feel safe either. There's a man right here, chat. Torture. All right, so this is the way out in the back after I've KO'd all these fools. Unlocked. Excellent. I was wondering how I was gonna get that guy's attention. It don't fit right. Damn it, this is the thing I was looking at. Okay, 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 okay. 
So remember when I said that I needed all that chloroform splatter cake? This is the reason why I needed that chloroform. This. It's lots of olives, shrimp, and hot dogs. It's true. Friendship Bunny does have punishment jello. It's it's meant to be punishing. Like it's meant to punish her enemies. Woe to those who stand in the way of friendship money. All right, buddy, come with me. Spend time with your friends. <clears throat> nope, knocked out people get woken up. No. No, they don't. So if I'm right, there should be no one in this hall. I am wrong. There is a man in this hall. But that's okay. We are going to go back up to the third floor. There's a guy over there with his dogs. There should be a man over here that we left alive this time around. There he is. Damn. Thought I heard blood flies for a second. Um. Sure, he knows how to talk with the boss. What a lick. God damn it, my copper wire. I gotta come back for that. Normally, if I were more confident in my ability to jump and make no noise, I'd jump and walk across this. I'm hungry. So what I'm gonna do is try to knock that guy out. Thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. I know I can destroy this and not alert these people, but I don't want to risk it anymore. I hate this wool. It itches like mad. So I'm gonna go get that poo gas. There used to be a guy here. There was a guy on those stairs. I know there's a guy in there with dogs. Guys just playing dice. For himself, give me those coins. Cause I think I KO'd his friend. Perfect. A chloroform. We are going to need at least two bottles of chloroform. No. Nope. Who's there? No one's there, bitch. Right. Huh? That sound. No one. 
in your face. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> I love Gloriform! Oh my goodness. Set this Chloroform bottle right about here. <laughs> oh my lord. Thank you, Bill Cosby. Nope, come back. Okay, we're gonna need probably two. Uh, I'm more comfortable with three. Yes, I can use the elevator splatter cake. I can easily use the elevator. I don't want to use the elevator. Thank you for letting me know about the elevator. So we've got one bottle of Cosby gas here, one bottle of Cosby gas here. Climb up on top, take a look down into the dining hall. We see one man over there. We're gonna need two bottles of poo gas thrown down there immediately. Checking something. Just it's check. Kill it. Well, yes. <laughs> Stay huh? here. A body? I'll just check what that here? was. <laughs> I knew I needed three. I thought I could do it in two. No splatter cake. I'll explore more in the elevator in a moment. I get it. You want me to go to the elevator. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. You're like, go to the elevator. The basement's crossed out. Do the things in the elevator. I'll get it. Don't worry. Worry not. Typewriter desk. Bunch of Battermeyer magic coin. I don't think there's anything else in this room, which is disappointing. Another hookah. Splatacake, you don't have to message me on Steam. I can see your messages in uh, chat. <clears throat> You're trying to up your Jello game, Friendship Bunny.
Thankfully, I managed to stealthily take out this entire room full of men in the chat. Two hundred dollars on that rune. Their flushing toilets do not work here. What kind of establishment is this? Fifteen meters away from a rune on the other side of this wall. There's so many things you can do with jello. I don't like mayonnaise. Yep. Is Friendship Bunny trying to bring up her mayonnaise jello idea where she punishes us for anything that she believes we've done? I always get these shifts. Yeah, you get a week's wages is <laughs> This is bad. Did I land the shot? But did I get detected? No, I didn't! Let that ride, chat. I know there's other men, I just don't know where they are. <clears throat> can you 3D print the folding sword? You probably can, but I mean, it's gonna suck. See that man yet? Unfinished letter to Captain Ramirez. Captain Ramirez, the squad got together and decided not to kill the lab dogs like you ordered. I know it's too late for them that they'll die anyway, but again, but even getting close to them is risky. Also, what are we supposed to do with the carcasses? They'll attract blood flies before the next shift is over. Speaking of which, can't the Duke send another crew to flash smoke the blood fly inf infestation? It's bigger every day. I know the doctors here use blood flies to make Adermine solution. Oh, snap. Why can't they invent an elixir made from field mice instead? I'm sure it would sell better with a cute little mouse on label instead of a disgusting insect. You know, the guy brings up a good point. <clears throat> we need to kill this man. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Now sleep it off. Mayonnaise use whipped cream instead. What? Does reading notes pause the game? Yes, it does.
Oops. Five coins in that chamber pot. God damn it. See if we can't go capture this man. Hello. God damn it. Hey, who is? So that man <clears throat> is facing us. Is Dishonored a better game? The original Dishonored? No. I would say they're about on the par. They're really close to each other. So I need to lure that man away, and uh, yeah, that glass works, actually. Apparently it doesn't work. He's just facing the wrong direction now. Mayonnaise, sour cream, onion, blend. Oh my god. Friendship your money, why? You'll never get that 20,000 coins now. Grapes. It is the bone charm known as robust. Let's see what that does. Probably more hit points. Uh, elixirs restore more health, more health. Why not? Um, slide speed faster. <laughs> Means miss more often with ranged attacks, your bolts and damage. I mean, the more damage thing is a good idea. The cocktail thing is a, a better idea. Killing those bugs, really important. We've got consultation to the right, treatment dead ahead. Damn you, restricted area. Haven't I been over there?
interest. Oh, there's got to be a way in. Probably from the second story. How are we immortal going to get to the second story? Video game, I swear to God. I'm hitting spacebar. That's how we do it, chat. Give me that whale oil. Sixteen coins richer, chat. How is this not art? Workers and blood fly. What a beautiful game though, really. Like, think about it. Like, people really did paint this stuff. Somebody drew that. And it's like, the art style in this game is amazing. So this is where they wanted me to come, I believe. With the code. We're gonna be careful. A victim of the crown killer, no doubt. Letter to Lieutenant Valentite. Dear heart, I keep thinking of what you told me. If it's true, if that's really what you saw, I just can't myself bring myself to believe it. Even though I trust you entirely. I know Duke Luca is respond is a despicable person. But him using that monster for his political agenda? Please, I beg you, don't be rash. I know you want to resign from the Grand Guard, but I fear for your life as long as you're in Adermeyer. Don't send that letter yet. Don't talk to anybody about, anybody about what you saw, at least until you come back home and we just get we discuss it with clear heads. Please stay safe. Yours, Matilda. He's not making it back. One could say he's dead. Damn it, I really expected that to be more clever. Let's try again. One could say he's lost his head. He nailed it. Sometimes you just nail the joke. That's one of the times, chat. So, if and I'm correct, this is the thing where the secret code juice is. Wait. What's this? Some coins. Take it. Dock board. Safe code. Some doctor of Hypatia's otter patients, otter, <laughs> are occasionally carrying items that are hard to classify from storage. So I put them in the office safe off to the side of the main entryway. The com combination is 757. Safe off to the side of the main entryway. Is this the safe? Doesn't make any sense. Interesting. So this is not the safe. Combat sleep dart formula. Silver ingot. Copper wire. That is some otter stuff. Also, then that means I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. Which isn't good. I thought that this safe was the safe I needed to get to um, for the... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? The cure... What's her face? By the way, as an aside, if ever you're a game developer and you're going to make a game and you have a safe over here, or any safe anywhere in any video game, stop putting the code three feet away from the safe. You can make it like cool. You can make people backtrack through your level. You can make it do make them do stuff. Instead, it's like read here, walk there. I know it wasn't there. It's was actually right here. I'm sorry. Read here, walk there. That's not a puzzle. Don't even put the safe there. Don't even put a code on it. You have a, such a cool code concept, and you effed it up because you keep putting the code right next to the safe. Mind you, there was that one earlier uh, earlier where the code was like scrawled on the back of a painting that you have to tear off the wall. That was pretty good. But other than that, 
Bad job, game devs. Bad job. I'm kidding. This game is pretty good, but that is something that you could do if you're a game developer out there. Make sure that things are a little bit more difficult. Uh, Last of Us 2 actually had some okay safe positions, not joking. So if I'm right, there was a guy on the other side of that. But he shouldn't be there anymore because I think I knocked him and all of his friends out. Thankfully, I've got just the remediation for this upcoming room. Oh. What? But, but Cardboard Ninja, you didn't even aim. I don't intend to. I'm just going to throw these things at them until they're all asleep. Oh, I got them both? Kidding me? Get got. We're gonna set this right here. Unconscious, no money, unconscious, no money. This is the, this is the reason why you don't give them that much chloroform. This is the reason why you don't give players this much power. Chloroform is amazingly overpowered. <clears throat> I think there's a few codes with the code in the bottom of a well in the safe hidden in an attic. Okay, that's good. Letter to blood, Bloodfly... Goddamn, why can't I say Bloodfly? Bloodfly fever patient. My sweet Albini, Albinia. Albina? Albina. My sweet Albina. Damn it. <clears throat> How good to hear from you. When I left you in the doctor's hands, you were so feverish you couldn't even say goodbye. The sting marks, so many of them. Just remembering fills me with dread. I'm glad Dr. Hypatia could at least make the symptoms a little more bearable. Now, I don't want you to worry about those awful things you said. Of course you're going to be better. Of course you'll survive. The children need you. And how could I go on living without you? Little Benito keeps having nightmares about blood flies devouring our whole family. So I promised, you, <laughs> promised him you'd be back soon and that no blood flies would ever attack us again. This guy does not know how to promise. He is overpromised, and he is going to under-fucking-deliver. <clears throat> we baked mulberry biscuits this morning, so I'm sending you a little box of them with this letter. I hope I'll be able to visit you soon. Please don't give up. I love you more than anything. Jeremy. Her body parts are probably strewn across this lab. Agents, reagents, class. Why? They have to know something. That guy's crazy. That's not good. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these things. Yeah, you're all dead too. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like a hive in there. But I don't think I have a booze bottle. Yep, there's the hive. I think there might be a booze bottle in here. Not overly worried about it, to be honest. I mean, I am rocking four additional shots. But if I can use booze, I will. Nope, nope, nope.
I know there's a booze bottle downstairs. There it is. <clears throat> This'll do. Aren't there like dogs in there or something? Another hive, isn't there? All right, fuck it. Bone charm nearby. 14 meters below. Oh, I'm surprised that destroying that didn't give me a uh, amber. Yes, I'm absolutely killing every last one of these things. I saw the shadow of one. All right, enough looking for that. I'm just looking for resources at this point. There's a body, meat. Something tells me there's a there was a dog in there, which is terrible. Got it. I think this might be the one. Reminder, things to buy. Fourth day of Earth Month, 1851. Varsco, sorry to have sent you out so soon, but I won't be able to proceed until the following. One large tin of powdered sea salt, compounding grease, but not lard. It goes rancid too quickly. Rubbing distillates, glycerin, two vials of juniper, two vials of rose. I know the rose oil is expensive, but it's the only thing for clearing out those lung flims. So what can we do? Maybe we'll plant our own rose garden someday. Wish I could go fetch them myself. Alexandria, Hypatia, Vasco's Diary, Month of High Cold, 1850. This is Vasco's quarters. Vasco's that guy who's going to die soon. Alexandria's new serum must never leave Adermeyer, and no one must ever know of our failure. We tested it on ourselves, which we often do in fractional doses. By the way, chat, that's dumb. That's really dumb. That is profoundly stupid. We don't do this in real life, chat. Do you know why? Because if you are the sole person forming a scientific act and you're the only one who can figure it out and you poison yourself, you've, you've killed everyone. That's why we don't do it. Um. Um. So, let's continue reading what these dum-dums decided to do because that's dumb. That's dumb as fuck. I think there's a few codes where the code is at the bottom of a well. Oh, yeah, never mind. All right. <clears throat> The night was sheer horror. It was hard to describe the effects on the mind, the frenzy it induced. We were not ourselves. See, that's what I'm talking about. What happens when the scientist, who's, in, who's supposed to save everyone, loses their fucking mind? You all die. Everyone dies. This is the reason why in real life, you don't test on yourselves. Ever. Alexandria muttered to herself, calling herself Grim Alex. Almost as if she had a total shift in personality. <clears throat> I cannot commit to paper all that occurred, but I burn with shame remembering the way my perspective shifted as if my entire morality was upended. The following day, after recovering my senses, I felt better than I have in years. 
The serum might hold the keys to improve lung function and general vigor. It could even ameliorate the effects of some of our worst fevers and infections. But the costs are too high. The absolute loss of empathy. The unfettered appetites. <clears throat> and yet, a week later, I watched Alexandria on the terrace below. She was in a terrible way, disheveled, with words escaping her lips that were jumbled and wild. Her movements were unfamiliar. In the morning, I asked if she tried the serum again. She was most alarmed, assuring me that she would never, ever touch that stuff. She swears that only a sample remains. Safety lock away for future study. Corbo for the love of shit. Okay, Corvo seems to really want to jump up on shit. <clears throat> hmm. No way. Now that's cool. You guys seen that? There was another way through here. Like, you could have walked across these beams. Isn't that crazy? That I did not see that? And yet should have? Like, you could have totally, like, left everyone in this room untouched. Unseen, uninjured, and just been like, I'm just going in here. So, this is his thing, and I don't remember what the, the, the password was. I think it was, like... I think it was 2-5-something. And I'm wrong. Alright, so... Maybe it was 5-2-something? It doesn't matter. We gotta go get the code. Damn you, Vasco. We need your goddamn lab key. The breakable door? Of course it's not. Do I know there's dogs around here somewhere? Like in here somewhere. There are no dogs in here, and this do this window's open. That's scary. Lot of cake says five two seven. Yeah, the code from the dying guy. No. No, I don't. I'll just go get the code back. We gotta sneak past that lady. Oh, it's 121. Holy shit, I guessed it. I knew there was a two in there. Counter serum notes. This time, it has to work. Now, Cat knew about this shit, but he's sending me to create, ah, whatever. Grind all the solid ingredients together, including the aluminum, uh, aluminum salts, or aluminum salts. <clears throat> Add some egg whites. Two weeks in my safe, away from daylight, should be enough for the serum base to activate. Add half a syringe of tainted blood taken from an infect infested human corpse. If Dr. Ipatio was in her right mind, she would probably object the step, but since the uh, Grand Guard put Adermeyer under lockdown, several men have died, killed by blood flies. This may well serve the greater good, and all previous blood samples seem promising. Hmm. Her assistant's book. Always there. 
wrong in her mind, takes over and forces her to use more of the original serum with some regularity. The Duke keeps her here and, if I'm right, sends her out on diabolical assignments. Hypatia is the one the newspapers are calling the crown killer. She leaves and comes back, leaving bloody footprints. But there's a cure, a counter serum. I'll try to administer it once I get my notes from the safe in disease treatment. Uh, hello? Oh, Alexandria. I was just... No. It's you. Yes, Vasco, my love. You were found out. And now we have some experiments to conduct. Come. I'll make you comfortable. Vasco's diary, Mount, the month of Nets, 1851. A patient arrived late, late at night, complaining of a grit in her eyes. The good doctor was resting, finally, so I took the case. After careful observation, I determined that the cause was silver dust from the mines. To bring forth tearing from the eyes, I combined glycerin and pepper oil. I planned to follow at once with a rinse. However, the burning sensation was apparently quite marked, and the patient was too distressed to let me attend further. However, the flow of tears was sufficient that I had wager by morning her eyes were clear. I declare my idea for purging the eyes of grit to be a success. I could sell the formula. Just the thing to get the dust and debris banished from the eyes. Vasco's formula for the eyes and ears. That's what I will call it. Fast and effective. All with Dr. Alexandra Hypatia's permission, of course. She knows best. Dumb bastard. All right. <clears throat> Port bottle, flask, bottle. I know I have a. Uh... I'm not seeing things. All right, crazy man, let's hear it. You're Hamilton. Why did they lock you up? You know something? I swear, I know what I saw. Hooded. I just caught a glimpse. So much hate in the eyes. As if the world needed more of that. I'm not seeing things. I hope they didn't steal my notes. I need to go back to my room. They took my key. I thought I could... I don't know. What a fool I was. I need to go back to my room. They took my key. I hope they didn't steal my notes. Okay. Now, this is where I believe there are dogs. I've yet to see the dogs. I would have sworn there were dogs in here. Never mind. There's clearly dog cages. A lecture on blood fly fever transcript of a lecture given at the Academy of Natural Philosophy by, of course, the one, the only, the name that I have to keep saying over and over again, Dr. Alexandra Hypatia. Direct your attention to chart seven. Here you have the final stage of blood fly infection. You killed the dogs? When did I kill the dogs? No, I didn't. I have killed no dogs. Absolutely. I've never even seen dogs. When did I kill dogs?
with the gas bomb. Thought a if that were true, wouldn't there be sleeping dogs? <clears throat> Friendly bunny, what skill or pro do? Friendly bunny, you've been a mod for about a few hours, but you're gonna have to explain why you want to ban skill or pro. So if, if they were caught in the gas, there should be sleeping dogs around here. There are no sleeping dogs. Whatever. Let me grab some of that poo gas. Uh, where is it? There we go. Wait, what? There's an infected body? Oh, they want me to use this infected body. How very specific. Disgusting. Create the counter serum. We're going to that those quarters. already eaten that trap to the face like a dum-dum. He's got a gun because your second amendment. Another gun because Jesus. Flammable. Loving it. Mercury vapor distillation? Don't know what that is, but damn, this dude's armed to the teeth. Who is this guy? We're gonna go to lore and maps. I think we're looking for who the hell this guy is. workshop. He passed too early. I gotta use more stun mines, chat. Hamilton. <clears throat> this time I'm sure. I saw it. I saw. Well, I don't know who or what it was, but there was someone, some hooded creature, dragging some bloody thing along the corridor. I'm not sure whether its prey was another dog or one of the guards, not sure which one I'd prefer. Those bastards have been mocking me for months now, saying that I lost it and that Dr. Hypatia should lock me up. Captain Ramirez said it's all in my head and that I'd better stop spreading rumors. Dr. Hypatia didn't say much when I first mentioned the half-devoured dog found in recuperation. Is she protecting someone? Dr. Vasco looks most suspicious to me. He hasn't even left reception for weeks now, and last time I saw him he was drawing some rotten blood from the body of a guard who got stung to death by blood flies. I'm no doctor, but I know this is not part of the Adamine solution recipe that Dr. Hypatia invented. Anyway, if nobody will listen to me, I'll have to track down the monster myself. I'll set some traps and keep watch every night until I find out what's going on here. That explains me being shot in the neck with a crossbow. I just realized I should be using the heart on that guy. Ah. 
kind of wanted more stuff. Wait a minute, isn't there like a rune in, in this room? It's 18 meters above me? What? That does not make any sense. Our faster way up there is not let's find out what the heck I'm looking for sure how I'm supposed to get any higher than this. This, for some reason, does not open. A lot of cake wanted me to go to here. Let's go to the basement. Oh, there is no negative one for basement. Weird. There's the dogs. Gosh darn it. I was on the wrong floor. I knew I saw dogs. This is the reason why you have so many floor forms, chat. Go back to the weird room on the roof? Sure. God damn it. I guess Dr. Hypatia is not seeing patients anymore.
I'm not gonna open that latch because I know there's crazy dogs in there. It's been like three years since I played, but I'm pretty sure the way to the basement is in the room. You're talking about the, the, the room on the ceiling? I can try. an eye out for art because I missed two paintings last map which is gonna suck and I have to redo that effing map to get all the paintings what did I do with my there I could jump over that. <sighs> really kind of feels as though those dogs are a danger. We're gonna try putting them down. Jesus. Maybe I shouldn't open this door. Is there any possibility of anything being in this room that I would actually give a shit about? Because <laughs> there's dogs out the wazoo in that room. That's just scary. <clears throat> okay, so here's the plan. One of two things can happen. If you can choke out a dog... <laughs> can I tell Skiller I'm going to ban him on the server he does it again? Friendship Bunny, maybe a temporary ban? Here's what we need to do. We need to cluster all these damn dogs. Wake up, dogs. Wake up. Alright, so now the dogs are all awake. I'm worried that it is too. Ah, that's freaky. Didn't expect those dogs to be so far away from the, uh, from the door. I'll just sneak on out of here. Fuck these dogs. 
And by that I mean you know I'm going to grab more of those um Chloroforms immediately. I think that this may be the very end of them. Why do you need in that room? Well, spot of cake. I've never been there. The fuck? Oh, I didn't go up high enough. <clears throat> it's the same reason why when people are like, why did you climb Mount Everest? The answer is because I damn could. I want to knock everything out, friendship, uh, or splat of cake. Can I steal that? No. Okay. Did you hear that? There's a man here. Hope it's not something bad. Maybe it's nothing. Clever girl. Yeah, I could do that, but I'm like a weird save scummer. Like, I save scum for when I mess up, not save scum to deter- To determine whether or not there's, like, benefit. But you're right, I could do that. Journal. Corporal Valdez. In six months now since I came to Edamar on permanent assignment. I'm not sure it was a good idea anymore. At first I enjoyed the isolation because it allowed me to pretend that I had left my past behind me, but now I catch myself singing just to break the silence. I sniff and inspect every bite before eating. When I shower with water from Adamire's reservoirs, I don't feel clean. It's as, if, it's, it's as if disease is in the very walls. So many sick people have come through here for years, and not only carrying germs, but suffering maladies of the mind. Those kinds of things leave a mark on a place, even after the patients are cured or die off. And I've never liked doctors. They have a particular smell and look at you like you're a pile of organs. I'm probably sick already having breathed this cold, wet air for so long. It's hard to believe people used to come here to get well. Adermeyer feels like a tomb. I'm sorry, Adermeyer feels like a tomb now. Maybe I'll go watch from the roof of the deck. Enjoy the sun while I can. By the way, this this um game has too many sentences that start with the word and. You can't start a sentence with the word and. Well, let's find out if you're right, Splatter Cake. Looks like you're right. Looks like it's just a room of wolves. By the way, chat, this is the reason why guns are so powerful. This is a fully unupgraded gun. No problems executing those monsters. None. Not a single problem found. Just instantaneously dead. Yeah, you're right. Knocking those guys out won't do anything.
Turns out Splatter Cake's right, those wolves ain't worth the time. Damn, I'm good. Watch me beat this level and have like only half the money. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. much for being good it's like god damn i'm good draws aggro immediately from dogs i wonder nope can't come back this way I wonder why not, I mean, I get why not all the do doors are breakable, but what's the point of breakable doors in general? I mean, unless you want to be loud. Alright, let's see if I can't escape this time without the dogs being all uppity. You down there, uppity dog. a bone charm nearby. Oh, there's one eight meters. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty close. Alright. What do you want me to do, splat a cake? I can't go into the basement because there's no button for that. I can go all the way up to the office. You want me to go up and out? And then jump down? Here we go again, chat. What do you want me to do? Splat a cake? Push that button? Don't push that button? What do you want me to do? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the room above the elevator. Yeah, I know. That's what this does. This will call the elevator to me. Watch. Here it comes. And... Done. Wait a minute. Do I? Oh no. Oh my goodness. Well, that might get me to a basement. <laughs> Flounder. Giga chatting it up with no powers. 
Like a real man. So how do I get to the roof, I wonder? I'm so close. But what happens if I push the elevator button? Yeah, I bet I could climb down the elevator shaft. Not from up there. No, I saw. I'm assuming that there's like a first floor thing. One second while I'm... Something tells me I'm gonna need this. So I'm first gonna grab this. Second, I want to go to the... I wanna go here. One second. Because I did not do this when I had the ch opportunity. Wow. He has one secret, that's it. Fair enough. Let's grab that bottle of Cosby gas. Good day, clowner. What brings you here? We're gonna find that. We have one rune. 19 meters away rune is the one we're targeting. Got it. All right, I don't have a choice. Thanks. We'll do that now then. Let me check. That's the dining hall, which should be clear. This is the front foyer, which should be clear. These are not stealable. Trying to stay awake. It's been 26 hours. Rah! What have you been doing to stay awake so long, Clowner? Alright, fudge it. Looks like we don't have a choice but to go all the damn way back up to the Tibby Tiznop. I wonder if I should have just been on the thing. God dang it. Grand Guards personnel, remember. The <laughs> Fixing your sleep schedule? That's exactly how I do it. Whenever I uh, need to get back on a uh, sleep schedule, the only answer I ever have is uh, stay awake until you're supposed to be awake normally, then follow through with a day of being exhausted and go to sleep. You're grinding Elden Ring duels all day. There has to be a way to get to that bone charm, by the way. I just have no idea how. Here we go. Let's try not dying. Hmm. So far, so good. Oh, there's a button. Meat. Teleport charm and reachable only with teleport? Hmm. Rune. Oh. 
Vera Mori's belonging, second day, month of seeds, 1810. Gus, seems like our VIP guest, Miss Vera Morley, has finally flown around the bend. She's been sent to the critical observation area, getting cold showers every three hours and the like. I heard one of the doctors say she might have contracted some nameless disease or an, uh, on an expedition to Pandacea. Another eccentric aristocrat trying too hard to ha uh, live a life beyond us ordinary folk. Anyway, some of her stuff was still in her room. She all stored all in lost and found down in the basement until she sent back to her husband. She's in for a nice surprise considering how she spends her time now just talking to herself, carving obscenities into pieces of bone. Just remember, give everything back to her when she's out to Melda. Like this $200 rune chat. Vera Mora's Diary. 12th month of high cold, 1810. <clears throat> my physician says I should keep a journal. Says it will do me good to reflect on my ways and deeds. Says the mark on my hands is just a tattoo or a blemish from birth. <clears throat> and that black eyed boy is only in my head. Pshaw, bunch of fools. I found where the administrator keeps the whiskey. Snuck a bottle back to my room, easy as that. I think I could stuff the whole whale under my jacket and dance the gavot, and they'd never notice. What would my sweet physician say about that? Or my dreary old husband? Oh my Vera, what have you done now? Mumble mumble. Appearances and whatnot. Sixteenth month of hearths, eighteen ten. I must get home my collection of carved bones, such pretty things. Brought all the way from Pandacia. How warm they feel in my hands. There's power there. Something I could learn to harness. That's why I've been trying to keep a proper lady again. Been trying to be a proper lady again. With clean nails and perfumed handkerchief. My physician says if I'm still be if I'm be um, yeah. I'm still behaved by the end of hearths, and they might send me home. So I smile and curtsy and ask for tea in the afternoon, comb my hair, drink my medicines, and stop trying to bite the attendants. Gold ingot. Good stuff right there. That's some good gold. Anton Sokolov in a subtractive light. 200 coins. Damn right I'm not skipping lore. You pay for a game, you probably are going to want to experience the game. Otherwise, you kind of wasted your money, right? This is actually a very good game, too. Like, they have a lot of uh, really deep lore. Also, for those of us who played Dishonored 1, I've mentioned this a couple times, this game is basically a little bit better than Dishonored 1. So far. I think that's everything here. Now, if this, just so we're clear, if this is the basement and it was obviously sealed, there's no other way down here. Why is this light on? You were too ADHD? Did you get all the money? I actually managed to get all the money in the first uh, chapter. Didn't get anywhere close on the second. Missed two paintings, came in like 1,000 coins under. Like, how is that book not something you want to interact So, I don't need to go over there again because the dogs. I've poo gassed literally everyone. Aha! Duke Abel's propositional state. The Duke of Sirkonos. We got another painting. How much money have we earned so far? We've earned $3,020. That's not bad. Pretty sure I've seen that painting before, seen that painting before. Well, also, I saved scum like a mo fucker. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. I've saved scum quite a bit. There has to be a way to get to that final rune. I understand it's probably a teleport rune, but it's hard on me to not try. There's probably a way up there, too.
Think brain. Thank you for the follow, Clowner. You shall henceforth be forever referred to respectfully as chat. We've got the exit. There has to be a way onto the roof. We do need to go to the serum laboratory and finish the serum. I already know ether doesn't work on this lady. She is unetherable. No, of course it was worth it. I got like $200 out of that. Mission four? No, I can't wait. Uh, this is on the hardest setting, yes. Minus, um, what's it called? Obviously I can save scum. Otherwise, if it were single save, it would be a lot more difficult. Let's get the cure up in our hands. It's ready. Use the syringe on Dr. Hypatia. All right. So not sure how I'm supposed to apply this. Just so we're clear, I was in a um, fight with Dr. Hypatia and I thought I won six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times, but she does not stay down. <laughs> It's like a thing she won't do. Ooh. Old note from Dr. Hypatia. Like, I jump punched her like 30 freaking times. Just jumped from the second story onto her, just punching her as I arrived. Nothing. She was good. Vasco, today was exhausting. Expect the flood of patience would be unabated tomorrow, well into the foreseeable future. It would be most helpful to me if you set up a triage area. Send me only the most urgent cases, especially issues of severe bronchial distress, black spittle, festering wounds, or pediatric cases with coughing or serious injury. These I must see right away. For the rest, could you please handle them personally? I trust your skills as equal to my own. Alas, I fear we'll miss the little half day off we discussed next month for certain Alexander. Hmm. I'm glad that I came back here and looked down. Stuff that I could steal. Nope. All right, so since I cannot down that lady, hopefully, delicious, hopefully I'll be able to, I'm pretty sure I read this, or maybe not, it's actually kind of hard to find, where is this? Nope, I have not read this. A complete listing of symptoms due to inhalation of airborne debris. Any of the following symptoms can be observed after sustaining exposure to mining dust, alone or in combination. Coughing, sneezing, neck complaints, necrosis of the eye, holy shit, insidious deficiency. I don't even know what the hell that even means. Uh, Thursery, lung purge, miner's ear, black spittle, black vomit, confusion, pneumonia, lack of appetite, excessive appetite, tremors, Bartholomew's rigor, ap apoplexy, and death. Should any of these be present, dot, 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 death, as a prescription, I recommend a full change of air followed by a month of leisure along the coast. Use suction to remove dusts and the debris from the nose and ears, applying boiled onions and flax to the chest. These remedies should bring some relief, especially when used in conjunction. Solving death. <laughs> wait a minute. What if the dude was shot to death? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Send him to the coast. I know how to solve this one. 
get him to the coast stat. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll bring the bottle. Wait, recuperation? What's 62 meters away in recuperation? Well done, friendship buddy. Hmm, search recuperation area and adjacent rooms. I would have absolutely sworn that I was over here before. 22 meters away on the second story. What? That's over there. Dining hall. How do I get to recuperation? That's one above me. I know where this is. I've been here before. Been in the restroom all last night. This. Up again. me to do is go get fucked over. Please let me ban him. Oh, I can delete his post. Yes, you can. We're gonna try doing this two ways, chat. We're gonna try curing her without killing off her friend. We're gonna be like, surprise, bitch, and we're gonna hit her with the, we're gonna hit her with the, uh, go to sleep. Gotcha, bitch. Run away! Mm. Boom! Get out of here, Dr. Hyde. Now, we're gonna search the adjoining rooms, aka talk to Captain Get Fucked. Oh, get out of here. I don't like those bugs. Oh, he just dies. <clears throat> to whoever finds my body, I know I'm dying. Haunted by failure. I couldn't save Dr. Hypatia from herself. If someone finds this note, please don't blame her. She has no idea what uh, her other self is doing. She doesn't know the monster she has become. If only I had been braver, maybe I could have cured her. If it's not too late, please, I beg you, prepare the antidote and save her. The instructions are in my personal save code 121. Interesting. So, I was expecting him to be alive. She's supposed to jump through this window and choke a bitch out. <laughs> That's what she did last time. Oh yeah, you could just jump out this window. By the way, this is how you get out of here uh, if you do that and you're trying to sneak away around her. It's like, oh no, I've pissed off the, the good doctor and she's going to beat my ass. You just open these windows and jump right the F out. That's it. What's she gonna do? Kill you? Well, I mean, it's better than fighting her. Though I really kind of liked trying to knock her out repeatedly. It was quite funny. Pretty 
pretty sure there's nothing of value back here. Uh, let's give her a little chit chat. Let's see if we've either cured her or she's permanently Dr. Hyde. Doctor. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No, someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry, I'm going to take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. I need to lie down. What? That's it? Just leave? Hmm. There's got to be a way to get that bone charm. Anyone caught taking medicinal supplies will be written up and fine. If anyone can look while I'm here, can you see what it takes to get up there and get that final bone charm? If it can even be done in a powerless run, oh my goodness. Is that Mr. Incredible? Do a quick once over. I have no idea how many paintings there are or how much money is there supposed to be. Maybe a break from work is in order. A few weeks. I don't feel well. But my head is clear, and it has been in months. Because if someone can look that up right now, I'll know if I can just leave and just walk on out of here. And I will. I'll just walk right on out. I'm not going to lie. This is a very fun level. Oh, bathing salts. Thank goodness. Came back. And it was only fun because of this cache of chloroform that made it so it was guaranteed that you were going to knock everyone out non-lethally without any effort whatsoever. That made it really fun. If I had a magic spell, I think level done? I don't remember any other... Yeah, no, I think the level's done. Splaticate, can you please check to see if it's possible to get to the roof charm without teleport? To see if it's possible. I don't want to come back here. I don't want to do this game again. Please, just Google it. While I search for loot. Please. Who decide? Wait a minute, this is the height. Can I get out somehow from here? No. Son of a bitch. Because I want to be able to get out from here, out there.
let's just go from the top down. I already searched this a while ago. Now I searched. Oh, yep, yeah, Adermeyer solution. This show is scary. Friendship Bunny, don't watch that scary show. You know how scary shows affect you physically. <clears throat> gotcha. All right. Not possible unless you exploit jumping off an object you're carrying. I don't know how to do that exploit, so we're going to go. And by that, I mean go get an object. <laughs> So let's see how you do that. How do you jump off an object you can? Nope, that didn't work. Maybe I have to press F at the right time. Let's find out. <clears throat> I have no idea where that bottle just went. I wish my stairs weren't cement though, because otherwise it's easy to destroy stairs, that way zombies can't get you. Okay, for sure. Alright, well, if it's not possible to get without an exploit, I'm not willing to learn how to do super neato tricks just to freestyle jump and try and catch that stuff. Flurgy three days ago just did this. I ended up with a bit of an easier rhythm to set up like a video and stated with dropping the tank and jumping it up but it was more than uh keeping the gallop makes any sense there's definitely more of timing window it probably doesn't make uh, does make it much easier you know to be a whale oil yeah i get you i get it not really worth my time with uh let's go let's get out of here we're done we're done with the mission chat mission accomplished everyone in conscious I'm going to consider this a 100%, even though it isn't. There's only one whale oil that I'm even aware of. I think that's on this next floor down. And that whale oil is out this window. Right here where I left it. What's that? Am I going to try this exploit jump? You goddamn know it. I'm a gamer, chat. Of course I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> it's you and me, whale oil. We're gonna get as high as we can, chat. So that we only have to do this exploit as little as possible. Here we go. It's just us and the whale oil. <laughs> Back whale oil, no. Got it. Oh no! No! Alright, we're done. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be, chat! It wasn't meant to be! <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> Fucking butterfingers. <laughs> we're done. We did our best, chat. Uh we go down. games don't get patched flat of cake can't believe this place oh there's more whale oil right here nope not patched did you see that watch this Double jump off of that. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm doing it! I'm doing it, Chad! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, the last time I saved was right before I gave her the juice? All right, let's give her the juice. What do you want to bet this guy's alive right at the moment we juice him? Yep, look at him bitching. Hit him with the juice. <laughs> Lux does think that's funny. There we are. Let's see how long it takes him to die. He's literally dying as she's getting cured. That's fucked up. You get to watch him die if you get there in time. He's like, nope, got nothing to say to you. Fudge, I just realized something. Step one, talk to her. Crap. I have to go get the bath salts Doctor. that I missed. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Something's not right with me. I can't believe that shit explodes so quickly. Working with infectious We're gonna stuff. skip because we've seen it. I should save this time around. But first I'll wait to talk to her. I need to lie down. Maybe a break from work is in order. Alright. A few weeks. Okay, so what we're gonna do... We can exit here, which leads us to Dr. Megan Forrester right away. Oops. Crap, but I can't do that because it's in... I think it's... Come on, brain, kick in. Where did I miss it? It was in here. It was like bath salts somewhere. There it is. Bath salts. Okay. Never mind. We're good. I'm doing it. <laughs> Fuck you, splat of cake. <laughs> Just for that, I'm doing it. I don't give a shit. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to jump. Hmm. I swore that would be destructible. I'm going to jump up there. I don't care. Just because of that. Just because of that. <laughs> I just have to think. Where's the fastest whale oil? The whale oil in the front lobby is, screw it, we're right next to whale oil right here right now. There is whale oil right here. Okay, we got our whale oil. Now what we need to do is get to the stairs, which are right on the other side of this. <clears throat> Sprinting up these stairs. Uh, the jump point is out here. We're gonna do it this time, chat. I'm definitely gonna make a save, Spot of Cake. Isn't there like another whale oil out here that I forgot about? <laughs> the one I brought up here and fingered into the ocean. Hey, Splat okay, can you please kindly go F yourself? <laughs> <sighs> this takes both hands. He can't climb.
<laughs> this is tough. Just getting this thing up here is a bitch. This better be worth all the noise, chat. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Explodes. This could hurt. Nope. Oh my god. I'm trying to just get it onto the ledge. You can't climb with the shit in your hands, chat. I can... Oh god. Greeting is licky. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're throwing it. Whoa! This is a powerless run, Licky. And as a powerless run, one of the things that I'm attempting to do as this powerless run is to get a bone charm that is supposedly out of the reach of us mere mortals who have no powers. God damn it. <clears throat> so, in order to do this, I have to get this whale oil to the roof. Place under you as you close the thing as possible. Yeah, I can do that. Let's try this. Oh. Oh, just barely. I mean, yeah, I could do it this way. But where's the fun in that, splatter cake? Alright. So, I don't know what I should do here. First, I'm gonna save. Second, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to try it from like right there and then just go straight up repeatedly and then try and get on top? Is that the only thing I can do? I think that's the only thing I can do, right? So in order, it would be jump F, jump F, jump F. Like this. I think it would be something like this, right? Eh, come on. Come on. Come on. We're doing it. We're doing it, Chad! <laughs> We're doing it! No! <laughs> okay. So I have the jump F idea down. The question becomes, how do I get over there? Damn it. Run. <laughs> yes, friendship bunny. Jump off of it and fall. I get you, I, I guess. Here we go. Come on. Uh oh. That's that's gonna kill me. Oh. Where are you going? Got it. Well, Friendship Bunny, you should time him out. Nope. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. So, we're gonna try this again. So, the whale oil seems to maintain my character's momentum, which is the reason why this is so silly. Shit. <laughs> God damn it! <clears throat> We're doing this. We are doing this. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's not going to be worth it at this point. We all know this isn't going to be worth it. At this point, we know, but we're still going to try. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I think I have to wait until the top of the jump. I think that's where I'm, where I'm fucking it up. I'm pretty sure I'm fucking it up. No, come back. There you go. Just give him a day. How about that, friendship money? How about that? Nope. It's gotta be well before that, apparently. How am I fucking this up? I literally did this on my first try. First try, I made it all the way up. Damn it! Spot a cake. Um, Skiller Pro is apparently talking on Discord. Friendship Bunny is now a mod on my Discord channel, and she's eager to utilize her powers to 
Hurt Skiller Pro. You know, let's just save right here. Come on, 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 here we go, here we go. Nope. Damn it! <laughs> oh my lord. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. Nope. That's gonna explode. Ow! Yep. As Friendship Bunny just said, Friendship Bunny has been deleting Skiller Pro's messages. Come on. Almost, chat. This is so humiliating. I bought the game yesterday. I can't even pass the first mission without killing people. Hold on, Likey. You can do it. Never give up. Here I am climbing a building with a bottle. Well, it's a whale oil tank, and I'm not really climbing the, the building with it yet. <laughs> Bone charm of these coins and those get out of your eggs. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. Now I've climbed a building with a bottle. Let's get the hell out of here. Get out of here, eggs. No one likes you. All right. She's over here. Is there any way that I can jump off of this thing from the up here? No. Is there any way I can land without taking damage? Pretty sure I'm fucked. Yep. Ow, my live, my legs. All right, that's fine. We just have to not continuously take damage on the way out of here. <clears throat> There's like grapes. I already ate the grapes. All right, we're out of here. Don't care. There is a 0% chance I can make to that water, huh? Fudge. <clears throat> it was just some money. It wasn't like it was a bone charm or anything. Oh, this will do. I better hit the fucking water. <laughs> Just ban him, Friendship Bunny. We're done. Conversation over. You want him banned? Ban him. We're done. You seem to want to try to ask questions about this. Just ban him, okay? We are going to get off this roof somehow, chat. If only there was a bad guy beneath us, we could land on them and take no damage. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take that fall damage. Let's just run out of here. that whale oil for another embarrassing death. Let's get the F out of here. Can you leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's head out for the dreadful whale. Mission accomplished. I 
Acacia was the crown killer. <laughs> That's impossible. Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she'll live. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. And Sokolov? He's been moved to the house of a man named Kieran Jindosh. The Duke's grand inventor. Supposedly brilliant. Another genius. Just what we needed. Bodies detected too. We didn't kill anybody. We got the bone charms. We got the shards. We got the thing. We got the paintings. We got everything. Except for the money. We were $400 shy? All right. Hmm. Apparently, letting out the starving hounds against the Grand Circonian Guard could have occurred, but we didn't. We kind of just knocked those guys out. <laughs>